Hey guys, Czar here, hope all is well. Watching the Dow right now, it's 1.48 p.m. Just got back from about a one hour break during lunch. I went and uh, processed some uh, lettuce from the garden. Uh, interestingly enough, or probably not interesting at all, <laughs> at all for most of you, I just thought I would throw it out there. Um, now let us get back to the task at hand. Uh, watching the 30 minute chart here, Dow, Yes, is sitting in the middle of the range of the day. As a matter of fact, not just the range of New York, but the range of uh, of New York and Europe and Asia overnight. Dead center, not much happening. Now that was the uh, S and P, by the way. Uh, Nasdaq, exactly the same thing. So they both are doing that, and uh, that's why I'm focused here on the Dow. Why? Because we're actually breaking into a fresh range. And potentially closing here we'll see let's go down to the 15 minute chart shall we there it is how about the 10 all right 10 minute closing in 15 seconds watching very closely now sell stop limit sell stop limit Live guys, live order. 150, so we're two, uh, 10 minutes to two, pardon me, uh, when uh, volume very often starts to come back into the market after the twilight zone. The twilight zone is that lunch period. It's about a two hour period from about 11.30, 11.45 a.m. New York time till around two o'clock, 1.30, 1 1.45, two o'clock, give or take. There's no specific moment when things dramatically change uh, on any uh, uh, with any given regularity but uh, certainly on any given day today is a Tuesday the behavior around Twilight Zone is different on a Tuesday than it is on a Friday for instance I'm gonna put you on pause guys we're gonna watch this a little bit more I'm gonna factor in the, um, the really dead-looking uh, three sisters chart here one minute chart with the Nasdaq, S&P and Dow vacillating or oscillating around the volume weighted average price. The Dow is the weakest of the three and also why I am looking to short it as opposed to the other two. So pause now and I'll bring you back. This is a live order by the way below the wick. So if the if a price action crosses that line it means I will be triggered in to a southbound trade. Here we go pause here we go guys watching this price is beginning to round over here on the three sisters as well and I am always watching the three sisters on a different monitor they're over here and I'm watching to see this breakdown breakdown and potential breakdown here to get triggered into this short as volume returns after the lunch hour watching closely Struggling right now to drop, and that's okay. You can see that all through Europe and all through New York so far, this area has been defended. In other words, there are buying forces in through here defending this prices drop down bam here we go guys I just got triggered in I uh, got a nice fill on that too you saw it was a very quick flash move you saw that I'm gonna watch this now very closely I'm gonna manage it quickly too if I can we'll see targeting 462 bear with me looking for 50 points on this guys second trade of the day Only had one trade today on the NASDAQ. I'm about to wait until this afternoon to even get another opportunity. 
This is the 10 minute chart, if you remember. So we need to handle these. So you see that just kind of, while I was explaining to you how these forces are sitting here, there would also be stops under here. You saw that flurry, bam, kind of a burst of activity as it uh, slammed down, taking out those orders. And now it's just kind of meandering about. Could easily just rally back up again and take me out uh, at my stop, and that's fine too. It's part of trading. But I am watching these, always watching the three sisters. It's a NASDAQ there, S&P in the middle. And here's the Dow, the one that I'm short. Go over to the trading grid. Two minute chart on the right hand side. Copy and paste. You can see where I was triggered in there. And like I was explaining, being bought up now a little bit. Prices are being supported there because there are forces and you can't see them sitting here on the, you know, the two minute chart or the three or the five minute chart and certainly not the one minute chart, but you can over here and begin to look and see where these rejection wicks and how, um, how prices were repelled and rejected at that, uh, at those levels. Three minutes to two. I'll put you on pause for now, guys. And I'll bring you back. Driving down now. Here we go. Looking for 50 points. Stop to above. Small wick. Stop the break even, guys. Stop the break even. Not giving this thing any room. Very high chance of being stopped out. I'm okay with it. It's just too sluggish and sloppy. And I'm not seeing a confirm confirming move with the uh, other two sisters. See that there? These are rallying. Watching it now. Looking for 50 points here. I'm going to move that to 40, guys. No, nope, not going to. Leave it at 50. Leaving it at 50. I just saw something on the three sisters. We are still at 50. Watching this marker here on the left-hand side because I moved that one. Actually, I can move it back. There it is. 50 points. All of a sudden, the others flipped. I can show that to you in a second here. Need one more push here, guys. One more big push. One more big push. I'll show you what I saw. See the flipping there and there. I was about to shorten it to 40 points, which we would have hit now. But I, I just left it at my own, my original uh, target. Here it comes, guys. Maybe not. I spoke too soon. New candle. Top wick. Yeah, it's being defended now. I can see that too on the others. Watch. See that there? Boom, boom. Just need that flip. Patience. One push and done guys 50 points second trade of the day 
uh, first trade was a NASDAQ trade as a matter of fact long and now we just blew through this area here for another nice winner thank you for joining me guys thank you for clicking that like button appreciate your support and uh, we'll see you hopefully again this afternoon who knows though maybe tomorrow but have an amazing night if I don't see you take care